<laughs> I get so messed up, dude. <laughs> Yo, 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 everybody. Janak V here, and welcome to A Hermit's Look at Landless. So this game is available on Steam Early Access as per usual, and it is a really, really cool game. You are, it's essentially kind of like Waterworld, if you guys have ever seen that really terrible movie with Kevin Costner. Um, you are on a boat, wish that a boat, and you are trying to just make your way in the world today and, you know, uh, shoot dudes, collect loot, and upgrade your boat and such and so forth and kill sharks and whales. Oh, it's so good. But I'm starting a new game. I, I played a little bit just to kind of get the hang of it. And it, it starts with a very small tutorial. So this guy's, uh, hey, kid, wake up. This is Professor Goodman. Nice. I like his little, like, yearbook pose, like, glamour shot pose he's got with his fist under his chin. Um, one hell of a storm. I can't believe you made it out. Press left alt to toggle, toggle the mouse cursor. Click on flashing icons to learn more about the world around you. So you hit left alt. And then they got little stuff like this. You hit it. Hold left control to dive type thing. All right. I've got our encryption software running now. Hopefully I'll be with you every step of the way to the Ecotech headquarters. Go to the front of the boat and press F to start the boat. Aye, aye, Captain. And, and we're in. There we go. Whoa, kid, that doesn't sound good. Looks like you're gonna have to rebuild the engine. Hey, kid, now's not the time to be lazy. Go use the material I stashed in your inventory. Go to the workbench to the left and press F to interact. Uh-huh, okay. So let's give that a shot. This here's our workbench. Um, and we'll hit it, there we go. And press I to open and close your inventory, and we shall do a craft job. Go to craft, and then here's all the different things we can make if we have the appropriate materials to do so. Right now, what he wants us to make is the basic engine, and so we have exactly what it takes to make that. Takes a little hot minute to build. Brrrp. And then once that's done, then we can stick this bad boy in the boat and be on our merry way. So it takes a little bit and kerplerk. Okay, now we're gonna uh, equip it. So go ahead and close the crafting window. Uh huh. And then we've got this little guy here. It's gonna tell us how to do it. We'll just stick there and put the engine in. Ha ha. Okay, so head there to Leavenworth to get started on your journey. I'm monitoring the boat contact you when you reach there. So this, aha, I need to get back to the captain. Oh, hell, oh, that scared me. <laughs> uh huh. it's absolute mayhem over here after your escape. No doubt the captain will suspect I had a hand in it. Don't worry about me, kid. Just get to that town and stay alive. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so hey, hey, there's a town up ahead. So let's make our way there. Right? It's got... It's, it has a lot of work to do, I will admit, but it's got super potential. I love the idea of having like a moving base and you can tell like the buoyancy is slowly going up. Now that we've added an engine, I think it, I think it required like <clears throat> a little bit of, oh, is that something in the water? It is something in the water. Hello, hello. Hold on one second here for a moment. Uh, okay. Come on, can you get in there? Allow me to, there we go. What you got? Oh, bottled water, I'll take them all. And that's it. Don't think I will give up having a free lunch. They say there's no such thing as a free lunch, but I beg to differ on you. All right, so this is the town, and you can see up in the little mini map, it kind of shows our waypoints. I think there's only really waypoints uh, for the for the tutorial, and then maybe if there's a quest. Um, I got to a point where I was doing a quest and I couldn't quite figure it out. Ho oh ho! Okay, it's saving. <clears throat> Had me worried there, just glad you made it. Press I to check your inventory. There you can see how much whale oil, oil you have. I know this is your first rodeo, so listen quick. Whale oil is a common courtesy, uh, cur courtesy, common courtesy, common currency in the outside world. Uh, obviously, it's used to create biofuel, but so does everyone else. 
Um, whale oil is essential to have access to technology, and that means uh, and the means to power them. Long story short, everybody needs whale oil. It's been many years since I ventured from the waster compound, but you should have enough oil to buy yourself some weapons and supplies. After you get what you need, get back to the boat and head towards these new coordinates I'm sending over. No one knows where Ecotech is located. Some say that it's actually a giant container ship constantly roaming the ocean, but the best way to get closer to them is through their tech. Aha, uh -huh. they have research beacons. They're constantly collecting data. You need to destroy the beacon and inject this black box. Those black boxes will help you trace them back to their original source. They also contain valuable hardware and software technologies. Because of this, the wasters and salters are constantly scouting the ocean looking for these. They're on a never-ending search for more tech. After cordon, all right, cordon is uploaded. I, uh, I won't be able to keep using the sonar network all the time. There's been increased security, everybody on edge. Uh, the captain's already uh, s summarily executed six suspected collaborators in your escape. Your instincts are gonna ha start relying on your own instincts. You're gonna have to start relying on your own instincts. Watch out, I'm picking up waster activity heading your way to Leavenworth. I'll try to contact you uh, when you reach that research beacon transmission heads. Okay, a little bit of reading there. Now, here's the one thing that I've noticed about this game is when the bad guys are around, uh, you don't really hear them. <laughs> so we're gonna have to keep our eyeballs out. Uh, so now you can go around in these little areas and there should be two things here. There should be a place for us to steal things. Uh-huh, like right here. And it doesn't seem that they care all that much. Like there's a person right there. Doesn't seem to care. Are you a traitor? You are not, okay. But we can go around. Uh, hello? <clears throat> Take all and the winner takes it all. And so the things that we can get out of there, here, let me show you. Let's do a little better. Uh, some scraps, this uh, synthetic drug called Cthulhu, pistol ammo, shotgun shells, all that goodness. And word on the street is this place is, this world is procedurally generated. So no two worlds are going to be the same, especially after we, you know, after we get this, uh, this tutorial done. So we're just going to go around, look and see what we can do. Uh-huh, I'll take them all. Now, already, uh, we have a gun and we have some pistol ammo. So that's going to work out quite nice for us. Oh, hello, get me out of this. All right, because we will get shot at by the bad guys. But for right now, let's see if we can't find a little bit more stuff. Oh, I'll take it all. Oh man, okay. So there's, we're lacking some space, but that's okay because we can, if we so choose, we can go back to our boat and dump off some stuff, which I might do, but I just wanted to check. We got any bad guys yet? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, let's go back. Meanwhile, back at the base, back at the floaty base. So we can go right in here and there's a storage and we can say, yeah, let's dump it. Dump it, dump it, dump it. And this is a really nice little uh, thing that they've done. The storage actually also acts uh, as a crafting, like crafting buffer, I guess you would call it. So, uh, so what that means is um, whatever you put in there, It'll show up in your crafting inventory when you want to craft stuff. Okay, so we keeping an eyeball out. Do we see any bad guys yet? I don't think so. They'll come in little boats. So let's just keep trucking here. Oh, no, they're there. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay. Get so messed up. Ha ha ha. Okay, so now they'll die. And sometimes their stuff will float. Doesn't look like we got anything off of that. Oh yeah, no, there it is. Okay, can I grab it from here? Yes, I can. Oh, a shotgun bang, what's up with that thing? Awesome. A uh, robot war, what is this all about? The Great Adventure. Oh, maybe, maybe these guys also make another game called Robot War? Interesting. Okay. Oh, uh, ooh. Is that another dude coming? No. 
there should be right over here is the trading thing I don't want to spend a bunch of time waste a bunch of time with you guys on uh, just gathering all these every single little supply but if we go in here should be a dude hey are you a trader dude yes you are hi okay look at all this crazy stuff we could get biofuel we could get a bed floating platform sulfur um so far everything seems okay can i i will i how many of these i want one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay it seems to be like a good uh a good thing to me and maybe some raw meat and we'll get like five ten raw meat i accept your proposal but look at all this other junk man we could get hit with a crowbar to remove some scrap wood i mean we're getting tons of scrap wood but i think we're okay for right now well, hello uh, uh, nope that's it how i get out of you there we go and again like i said it do they don't seem to really care uh too much <laughs> that I'm, i just walk around and steal stuff so we'll we'll let her be. Okay, rifle ammo is fine. Okay, we're oh hell, see, like there seems to be a missing sound button. Okay, oh no 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 no, get this out of my face. No no, uh, F. Get it. Hey. Oh get hey get off. Come on get off there. There it is. Okay. Let's try that one more time, shall we? Where'd he go? Oh! Uh-huh. Reload. He doesn't know about me. Huh. Hey. Boom! Okay. And then over here, there's some lights we can turn on. They got some lights going on. Let's see if there was anything good that's going to float to us, I hope. Oh. Oh, well, I'm in the water. Don't nobody worry about it. Hopefully no sharks will come. Aha! Here we go. Ooh, jingle bells, shotgun chills. Okay. Very good. Very nice. Can I get up here? No. Okay, let's find a spot. So yeah, basically, that's the deal there. Can I get up here, please? Can a man let me jump up here? Anybody? Okay. Uh, I see another, another dude over there. So let's, let's take these guys out. Can I reload? Yes. Okay. There's reload job. They're trying. They're coming right around the corner. I'm hungry and I'm thirsty, but let's kill these dudes first. Where are they going to try to go? Over this way. Uh huh. Get so messed up, dudes. <laughs> yeah, they need like a engine sound or something. I feel like that's missing. Okay, so let's see. Something's going to come up. There's the, the old floaty. Hello? Hey, okay, I got to get in the water, I guess. Ooh, and the winner takes it all. Okay, so let's get in the boat. Because now, oh, and wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, drink of water, drink of water, drink of water. Eat a tater, eat a tater. Drink of water, okay. Life is good there. Let's close our thing. Let's get in the boat and the dude wants us to go to this, uh, this place. Come here. Hello? Hello? Why won't you work? There it goes. Okay. I was just very picky. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see on the mini-map, there's this little thing. This is the beacon. Now, I haven't been paying a real close attention to the story, but apparently this beacon is where some bad guys are collecting their data. And we gotta, like, break it up. What's that noise? We gotta break this thing off. 
Aha! All right, kid, take a good look. That's Ecotech Mark V Research Beacon. My top student before the Great Flood designed the mechanism using electron and water splendid with the anagraph. Cute from boy. Anchor down. He named it Anchorless Technology. It's basically an immovable ocean surface satellite, but I digress. These things are incredibly tough. I advise you to conserve your bullets and focus on pulling it apart with a crowbar or hack it with an axe. Aha! Uh, I know it's going to take longer. Uh huh, but if you try to pry that thing open, it's going to send a distress signal. And oh boy. You're gonna need every last bullet for each damn salter waster and echo drone that's heading your way. Destroy the beacon! Stop the signal! The signal must be stopped. Okay, so in order for drones and pirates to stop coming as well, clear and to secure the area. So that's my guess. Once you like destroy this thing, then in this specific area, the bad guys won't come. Crap, the captain's on to me. I don't have a lot of time left. Need to try to throw him off my scent. I'll contact you when uh, you get the black box uploaded. Okay. So, I, it looks safe right now, for the moment. Let's get, there should be, aha, uh -huh, yes there is, there's a nice little spot here. Let's dump the stuff that we've gotten, so we don't have to worry about it too much at the moment. Although a pistol's kind of nice, I'm going to leave it for, the, for a hot minute. Okay, and then we need crowbar technology. Okay, it's good. Let's get out of there. Come on now. Get this out. Okay. Are we safe? I think we're safe. Let's try it. And we're up. We grab the crowbar. Now, yeah, I think we just hit it. Go to town, baby. Hopefully nothing's going to shoot at us, but we do have our pistol. So this thing will get destroyed, and what it will leave behind is a a case with a black box and some other goodies. So this is one of the ways that you get uh, you get good materials to start building things. So hi yeah 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 hit it hi yeah 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 go town 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 uh huh kid I think we can save the world I'm compiling a database of blueprints and guys to send over to you to get all the essentials covered. I'm also sending you a final version of my World Image Regenerative Encryptor, or as I like to call it, the wire. The wire takes all the data collected from those black boxes and processes them into translatable code. As you collect more data, wire will be able to construct a detailed map of the world, narrowing, narrowing down where Ecotech has been or is at. All right, uploading. Uh oh, gunshot. Captain White's beard. That's not what you think. I should have known. The self-righteous, self-important professor, you selfish cur, executed ten of my loyal officers because of your handiwork. Maybe you should have done more investigative work. Didn't you think you have, uh, didn't think you would have owed it to your loyal dogs? Pistol whip noise. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> As for you, I gave you everything. Food, water, comfort, security, knowledge. And this is how you repay me. You could have been a great queen after our marriage. I guess I'm a girl in this but it looks like the professor has been corrupting your mind with silly adventures and fairy tales. You want to see the real world? You won't last a week out there. I'll get you back, dead or alive, to the ends of the earth. You will be mine. Kid, my job's done. I've taught you everything I can. It's up to you. The world now rests in your hands. Don't let anything stop you. Pistol. Uh, uh, upload complete. Transmission ends. Boom. Okay. Right. Kind of... Okay, so this is breaking. So this thing is gonna do a nerp, and then, woohoo! Wow, oh, look at that go. Okay, and so now if we look at it, it has all of this crazy stuff, and it has a black box. So we take it all, we get in our business. Aha, uh -huh. now we have something. Is anyone picking this up? I need help. Shark took my baby away. A blue marker leading to the contract turn-in will appear on the minimap after killing one shark anywhere. Press L to see your contract log. So now, this is our shark took my baby away and you get rewards for doing it. Ah, health. Oh, that is such a good idea. Oh, right? So, I don't exactly know how the how that works uh with let's see 
Put this stuff away. Rifle ammo. We got some stuff. Okay, pretty good. Um, I don't, I don't exactly know how to hunt down the sharks. Like, do we throw a little, a little shrimp on the Barbie? Something like that. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I guess we'll find out. For right now, I'm gonna go back to this little uh, village here, which shouldn't get any more of those wasters because we've destroyed that little beacon. Yeah, baby, how about it? All right. Fellas, I think that's going to do it for me for the first episode. Hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more, definitely drop a like on the video and let me know in the comments below. But it's doing it for me. Until next time, take care. Brush your hair. <laughs> I'll see you when I see you. Peace. Special thanks to the following patrons who made this video possible. Want to join the community and support the hermit? Head on over to patreon.com slash generic B.